pretty much I'm doing a uh, single unit C and I'm on timer. I want to do 10 minutes or less because I used to do that last week about hour and 10 minutes. So I got rid of one hour. So I'm editing the data. You see there's a little bubble here, the tissue sitting here. So I go here, uh, free form scan data, in an export mode. Click on that small little brush and smooth. And then just smooth this area right here. Anything that looks suspicious, just make sure you tell the doctor. If you push shift, you can do it faster, see? Okay. Say okay. You can go back to wizard. Then I got correct draw, get rid of the magnetic. So do manually, just click, click, click on the margins. If it's not accurate, don't worry, you can always modify it. The pink is done, yo. We did Facebook Live with pink layering, 30 minutes or less. So uh, actually the lowers came out from the oven. I'm gonna go check it out just a second, but in the meantime, share with you how to I do single units. Pretty fun, okay. <clears throat> it's fun because I'm not that good, so you know, okay? And you just started learning because yeah. you had spare time. Yeah, I got spare time just playing with it. It's fun. Because of the coronavirus. Corona did good. I don't drink Corona beer, so it doesn't matter. But it's nice to be able to play and practice, yeah? Also, practice to do denture without denture module. So I, I did that too, which came out good. I'll show you another segment, but <clears throat> very interesting. Lots of tricks. Let's see. So if you want to delete a point, you just click on it and then push the right button and left button at the same time. Get rid of it. Okay, so this one's good, this one is good, this one's good, this one is not, let's see. Here we go. Done. Okay, so I do next. Three minutes, 24 seconds. Okay, so I'll go borders. I'll change this to 0 0.15, 0 0.15, and this one is one. So next. No mirror image because I don't have nice tooth to copy. So I just go proposal of the ExoCAD. And I, as a default, I put Astoria, but you can use any teeth library. There's so plenty there, too many actually. But and I position in a way, because this one has lots of anatomy, but I don't want to have so much because these teeth don't have it. So I lift it up so it's actually high on bite. The blue means there's uh, information here over where the high spots are. You can shut it off here, show distance, see, on, off on off i like to keep it on so i know where i am uh, you can control you click it and kind of rotate that it's a shortcuts right and this one needs coming out on the buckle and i need to stretch so I could shift and drag you see up or down it goes up or down you can make it bigger or smaller and that's big enough let's see here we go the pink is minimum thickness, so whatever you see pink is minimum thickness. And then do this. Cody wants to join me. He wants to exo cut. That's my little doggy. He's so smart. He likes to see everything I do. <laughs> okay, so that's it. See that area now? I'm gonna keep that because I want to flatten those areas because you see the anatomy is not existence here. So go next. Now it adapts, see adapts the margin, adapts everything. I also like to change the true smile to this yellow look because I can see better the shape. And then I'm gonna get rid of the, the high spots, see? It's very high here. And also if you look at the contact points, you see they are very heavy, too much. So I can brush it and use the little tool, stretch it and stuff. I don't waste my time. What I do is I go here, adapt, occlusal first. So watch the occlusal. Say so cut intersection, automatically see it's flat in that by itself, bam. Same thing on the interproximal. Go to interproximal here, cut intersection, watch, it's done automatically. 
right? So that's enough what I need for contact points. Now I need to clean it up. So I get rid of the jaws gun here, shut it off the window, and I take the free form, I take the smooth button here, lower this brush size, lower this strength, use that first one here, and I control sh shift, I click on shift, see, it cleans it up faster. Do the margin first, because I want to be efficient. That's why I try to figure out how can I do it fast? Because I know what I want, it's just, I, how do I get there fast? It's not about doing bad quality, it's just doing it fast, that's all. That's why I time myself all the time. Okay, so you see the pink spots here are the minimum thickness, which is okay, I can mail it. I just want to make sure that, um, I'm gonna change the brush size here now, because I get closer to contact. And brush size, increase a little bit, and just smooth that area, see that? The marginal ridge. Still have contact, but it's smooth. Now, if the anatomy is too deep and too much, what I do is I can brush it with this same um, small brush, kind of clean it up so it's not so heavy. And I don't want to lose the, um, the anatomy, so I don't want to be as deep. So what I do, I take this tool, the reach tool here, and I stretch it out towards the occlusal and see what happens, see? So I still have the anatomy, but not as deep groove because the patient doesn't have it, see? Ashley taught me how to do that, our digital technician. So he knows lots of tricks. He's actually faster than me, but you know, now with coronavirus, I'll be faster than him. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet. But don't waste time, gotta get better. Okay, so now it's blue, see? Now it's already, I cannot stretch anymore. So you can go adapt again, uh, occlusal, Cut in the section and bam, it's done. All right, so now go back to smooth and just smooth this transition. That's it. Okay, now look at the shape, look at the jaw, because I want to see if the shape is good. I see that little little indent here, the shape. I see a little indent there. This one is too full. So what I do, instead of using the, the brush tool, I go to this ridge tool here, and then I'll just push it here in the middle, watch. There we go, flatten that. Flatten that, see, now it's flat like the others. But it didn't lose the shapes of the teeth. There we go. Because before I used to do brush tool and all the other tools, try to carve and everything, it was a pain in the ass. And then, um, you know, and then I had to work harder because I lose it. This way I don't lose the shapes. It's all the same and it's done, okay? The contact points are good. If I want to smooth some more, I can, but it looks good to me. That looks good. But this one may be strong here. So I'll go to the brush. And this one, I'm gonna smooth that. Okay, done. So I'll go next, watch. Now it's making the wax up. And it's done, bam. How long it took, let's see. Nine minutes, 17 seconds, whoa, I got it faster. That's it, one crown, less than 10 minutes. 